Hey guys, welcome back to part 5 of my Civilization Beyond Earth Let's Play. This is Larknuckle and Sasha Gabiotic, and let's see. Last time we left off, we had our worker up here about to move into position to begin putting some infrastructure up for Ganzereg. I want to get really too good. Uh, I guess that's not a desert floodplain right there. It's just the plains. Um, but I want to get up some farms. Actually, this is my only one. The rest are Grassland River or something else. So yeah, we can improve that at least. Um, I mean, a farm here is not all that bad of a tile. It's still a two food, one production, one energy. So yeah, let's do that. We can get up two farms there. Um, and then maybe a hit, maybe a mine. And then we can move on to building a road to Gongren or perhaps Huanle. Which we have not had the opportunity to finish. Uh, let's start building that farm. That's going to be a great tile there. Three food, two energy. Does not come much better than that. Unless you go into the strategic resources, but let's not count those. So one of our issues right now is uh, health. Health is going to be an issue for a while now, especially when Gongran finishes. Oh, they're pushing up on this marine here. Worst case scenario, we pull him back into Gung Ren. Try another day. Okay, he doesn't look like he's less than half health, so we can just bring him down. Should be fine. What are the aliens doing here? Alright, they engaged the Marine, which is, uh, that was the point. They have a lot, a lot of Raptor bugs. That is not too good. Pull our Explorer back. To Ninit Tin, heal him up. And we can just bombard that mana core to death. Now we've actually got two marines ready to go. Let's bring them down south. We'll deal with the aliens up north in Gongreng eventually. Now we got two veteran marines ready to do what they were meant to do. Alright, Kuyin now has what does it have? It it's got it has the clinic up. It's helping with health a tiny bit. Now, the, really the choice here is we want to build the Vivarium now, which will help growth eventually, um, or get the lab up now with all that juicy, juicy seven science. We could go Old Earth Relic for three culture. I'm thinking the culture is one of the safest things right now. I really want to get my virtues rolling, and getting Old Earth Relics early is not a bad thing. I used to think it was, like, not the safest idea. I don't really hold anything against it now. All right, so now we can choose another trade route to help out Tiangong, or we could move this trade out elsewhere. Right now, um, I would like to build stuff out of uh, Tiangong, and we can actually help some food by trading with other places. And at 10, for example, we'll get three food, or Huanle could get three food. I'm gonna go with Huanle. Um, actually, you know what, Ninit Tin. Ninit Tin deserves my food. It's gonna be a cool city eventually. I get three less production out of it, but I don't really have that much of a negative opinion of that. And it looks like we've cleared all the aliens out here, so hopefully they won't be coming back for a while. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Samatar. We love to kill us some aliens. I love the alien slider. So let's actually start our timer. I always forget to do that. And let's get on going. Alright, so our Marine here, we want to just bring him into he, he already is in friendly territory we'll just heal up and we'll get this marine south this one finished with the hill we could start building a road we actually we have a couple options here we can go one two three four five with the road or we could go one two three four but the road won't directly connect as fast as possible back to the capital i'm thinking this is the best option just one more tile but it's a more direct connection for gong ren to get to the capital so let's start on doing that Tama has declared war on Kozlov. Kozlov's not having it too good. Freeland's up above him. Rosili is declaring war from the south. He could probably go down. Then again, we did see that Reggie is one of the weakest players right now. Let's block this guy's zone of control again. Liked how that worked out last time. Let's move this trader out to Kuyan, actually. See if we can't get them a little bit of production and a little bit of food. Out of a good old trade route. Let's get building on that road. Um, I suppose we could have a marine doing some standby for these workers. Because the wolf beetles will eat them. 
if worse comes to worse. Let's just heal up a little bit, do a little bit of support, then we can get to exterminating these wolf beetles. For now, let's heal in the minute 10. I really just want to get my roads done. I want to get bionics up. I want to get the pharma lab up. I'm just all about growth right now. Growth and health. Okay, so we did finish the recycler now. We have the option of going clinic or vivarium. I think we're going to go with clinic. I really want to deal with some of that health. Nice and early. It's preventing our cities from growing, and growth is super, super important in this game for long-term production, long-term science, long-term health. Um, so, you know, we could have the observatory if we had improved this Phyraxide by now. Again, um, some of these aliens are getting in the way. We could go for long-term production of military units with the repair facility. Or we could just start building some tack jets. Um, I'm not opposed to the tack jet idea. We can start bombing these guys, doing a little bit of damage. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. I love how the planes are shaped so... strangely. It doesn't seem like a conventional... Con I don't know, a conventional shape for aircraft. Start healing. And get into building these roads. So he's already built the road. He's nice and fast. Doesn't look like any immediate threat to that worker, so we'll just let our guy heal. And Kuyin can send a trade ride out. So ideally we wanted some food out of this. It doesn't look like we're going to get it. Um, we can trade food to Ninit Tin. Um, or we could go with that. That doesn't seem like the safest trade route option, given that that wolf beetle is where it is. Um, another thing we could do is trade with Ganzerig. Or maybe Gongren. Again, Gongran, not a safe option with the wolf beetles around. Um, Ganzerig doesn't look that dangerous, though. That's five bolts that Kuyin will get. Nothing for Ganzerig, though. Um, you know, this does look like one of the best trade routes, I guess. It gives us a lot of production in Kuyin. Gives Huanle a little bit of food. Um, alternatively, this isn't that bad either. If Nina 10 could get explosive earlier, that'd be nice. We could go for energy and science, though. That does not look that bad at all, and we don't plan on declaring war anytime soon. Um, so you know what? I kind of want to go with that. A little bit of energy will do us a good distance, and we don't need that all that much production and food. So let's start a trade with Citadella. Hopefully the aliens... There's not that many aliens roaming around. Um, it's a very long trade route, though. I don't know. Alright, so we did finish the Old Earth Relic here. Let's go with the... Vivarium, actually. I want to get growing a little bit in Kuyin. Until the health is dealt with, um, it's going to be very hard for Kuyin to grow, and growth is very important, even when you're unhealthy. Because again, you can pretty much deal with any growth with uh, the adequate buildings. You can't deal with um, cities, though, until you're... Fa until, as in global unhealth, until you have a lot of cities, and they all have a high population. Casey Jones, the Wabash Cannonball. With his iron legs still running a mile a minute. Alright, sweet. We got our bio wells. That's going to be critical to helping Tiangong get up to health and also really growing really quick. Um, and it's going to be critical to our growth in Kuyin and in Ninit Tin. Uh, Gong ran too until we cut down this stuff and get these grasslands available. So for now. Alright, so we have an option here. We go with Army Engineering Corps, which will really help us get some production in science. Sorry, production energy. Um, this isn't a good option at all this early, when we only have one point in supremacy. We go network data links. Um, it's going to help us get our science stuff a little faster, given the number of cities we have, which is six, which is a decent quantity at this point. And then the meme web, which could help us eventually. Um, I, I think this is the safest option. Ideally, I want to get up to this synergy kicker, which is a lot of science. Um, so you go one, two, three, four, five, maybe. Doesn't look like a bad option. And then we can start going down into these lower might virtues. <coughs> what we really wanted early was adaptive sciences, and now we have it. Alright, so let's keep on bombing these guys with our tack jets. Let's see if we can't do some solid damage. I don't know how they take damage. How are they shooting planes out of the sky? Oh well, it's a balancing thing. Let's get our guy over here, and we'll have him heal up there, and then hopefully push down and start doing some serious damage. Okay, so now this wolf beetle is a bit of an issue. Let's bring our marine up, 
and work on that road. So two roads completed there. I mean, it's good that we have that trade with Citadella going for at least till as long as it lasts. It's going to keep our energy up. It's going to keep our science up. We did finish Bionics quite quickly. So now let's pick up Genetics and focus hard on keeping our health. Hopefully above 10 on health. What I mean by that is I want to have 10 on health max. Um, I guess we could now build on the Chitin, maybe on the hill, and then get moving because we want to get our Biowells up where we need them. That's pretty critical. That's why we went Bionics. I guess I really don't need this explorer where he is right now. Um, I could bring him down south. Venga, volvamos más ricos. No, one, two. Yep, that wolf beetle is angry, and he is acting on it. We definitely outpower him, though. Probably be able to kill him next turn. If not, then the turn thereafter. They think they can deal with me. Foolish aliens. Okay, so we do have two farms up. Let's get two good production sources and we'll be moving on. On lake and fire. Alright. No clue where these aliens keep coming from. It's quite bothersome. And Tian Gong can actually fire. That's interesting. Let's heal up our marine. Get our tack jet up to seasons. Let's heal him. I really don't want to fly with tack jets at less than 50% health. And I believe we'll be able to end this guy this turn. Yeah, we got him. Alright, sweet. Finish that road. Dude, I love these PAC worker times. They're being so, so efficient. We'll have our trade route to Gong Ren, hopefully done soon. And we'll be on our way to... Uh, what do you call it? To getting even more energy. And then hopefully when we pick up free roads and magrails... Our economy will be skyrocketing. You go to war with the soldiers you have. Make sure those are the soldiers you want. We're going to be wanting to build pharma labs as soon as we can. Uh, let's do that in Tiangong now. Let's go pharma labs, set a nursery. Health is going to be an issue. Health is an issue right now. 20 on health is not good. It's really hurting our growth. So let's build a mine. Um, yeah, we can just finish this road don't like actually you know we, we could probably win this trade if we just heal up a little bit let's leave the rest of this road to that worker up there and we'll get this one down south into Kuyin build a biowall there the biowalls are going to cost a little bit of energy but we do have a bit of an economy so that's where we could be spending it in growth let's keep on bombing we have two tack jets now. So, we're going to be doing twice the bombing runs. And next turn we'll be able to move our marine in. Really start doing some damage. Okay, so we picked up genetics. We got all the main techs here. We've got bionics for extra health. We've got robotics for that manufact... Sorry, for the auto plant. The question is now... When do we want to pick up the Neurolab? Which is for supremacy... We're not quite that close yet. We do have a quest remaining. We've got all our main techs for supremacy points. Um, mm, it's an interesting choice here. Um, I think we can probably just start picking up these techs. Maybe want we want to go alien life forms because I mean that's some good culture. We could even pick up the healing bonus on the alien preserve, or we might just want to go with the improvement quest. Um, all these are pretty interesting choices. That's six turns away. And this is just six turns away. 21 turns away. What does this really give me, though? I mean, all these really give nice supremacy points, but are these improvements comparatively that good to the Alien Preserve? I honestly don't think so. So let's go with that. We can pick up our quest early. Or I'll turn and go Biochem. Biochem now would not be that bad. Um, hmm. Extra production, extra energy. Energy's going to be a bit of an issue in the short run. So, um, that doesn't seem like a bad, bad option. Let's pick up Biochem. Yeah, that's actually great, because we already do have two petroleum wells. We're going to have maybe three, maybe four up soon. 
And yes, the aliens did attack our fortified unit. Took a crap ton of damage. And Gong Run is very close to being complete. I love the color of BioLs. They're just such a nice. I don't know. The, the color of Harmony units. Such a nice color. Let's be careful here. We have 40 health. We will not die in the miasma. Alright. So let's just go on. It's gonna be close, though. Yeah, we're fine. We could take a little bit more miasma damage and be okay. Let's just build this road and be done with the connection. These aliens are just so aggressive. It's a good thing these tack jets are doing these kills, though. Keep on bombing. Suppose we get up on this hill and really see what's beyond this. Ah, this is why we've had so many aliens down here. They do have a Xenomass. Uh, yeah. We're not actually gonna be able to work that at all. Um... Yeah. They're gonna really pile on him next turn, and the attack jets will sweep up. This does not look all that bad, actually. Okay. Oh, I really should be building- yeah, we're already building the Pharma Lab, what am I saying? Um... I'll build the Pharma Lab and these guys at four, yeah. When they're at four. So, in in at 10 as soon as we can. Oh wow, even more aliens. Alright, where is Palatine, actually? I really do love all that culture. It's probably super far away. I don't see it. Oh, that's, yeah, it's unbelievably far away. No trading with Palatine. Okay, um, we now have another seasoned tech jet. Why did I... I don't know why I didn't notice that for Axite. How long has that been there? Huh. Well, I mean, we will eventually get it with Tiangong's radius. Um, so let's just bomb these guys. They're the biggest danger at the moment to our Marine returning safely. Let's just have him fortify himself. He'll really do a lot of damage. Let's heal this tech jet. Get him and Gong Ren to heal. And finish that road. Get our explorer down here. Alright, we can build our Saturn Nursery right away, so we're gonna actually go ahead and do that. I really just want to get our health up in everywhere as fast as we can. Health is a big issue. Ah, it's such a hard choice that we go vivariums for increased growth, the pharma lab for a little bit of health, the network for science, laboratory for science is great. Um, I think I'm actually gonna go vivarium here. While we have the extra production in at 10, um, I want to get that thing skyrocketing on food. We're dealing with this unhealth pretty well, I think. Um, Gong Ryan's gonna hit next turn, so it's gonna bring us back down to negative 20. Raptor bugs are scary, let me tell you. That was not such a smart idea on their part, though. Moving into our radius there. You now have a veteran. Ability to draw out... Yep. Yeah. Alright, now we have an, a veteran attack jet bomber. Let's use him to finish off... These wolf beetles if we can. Did. Alrighty. Let's bomb on the raptor bug. And we'll just have our eye heal again. Should be fine. Should be A-OK. -okay. So this road is not... I mean, Gongran hasn't totally grown yet, so we're not getting the energy out of it yet. We're still fairly positive. We could begin building our road to Huanlai. I think that is a good idea. And... We now have two food and close to two production sources. We can bring this worker down. This guy will be done in just two turns, and we'll have him go down as well. The goal here is to get some bio wells in Kuyin, Ninit Tin, and Tiangong. So they stay healthy and grow quickly for as long as I am in this game. I think what I want to do is put another bio well in Kuyin. Right now, they don't have access to more plane tiles quite yet. Let's just put a bio well on one of these farms. I'm going to slow down. Oh, it didn't slow down our short-term growth. I, th I thought it would. 
Um, all right, so we can go. We have the Vivarium up already, so we can go Thorium Reactor for more long-term energy. We can pick up the lab, go Cyto Nursery, Pharma Lab. I think honestly, the lab is probably the best choice right now. The short-term science and long-term science is just critical. So let's do that. Looks like we finished a mine here. Um, wasn't aware that I was building one. It's okay. We can get building three bio wells in Ninit Tin. That'll really start the growth rolling. Jinsoku Labs. That trade is just so... Ah, oh, so much energy. Sorry, what am I saying? So much production and science. It's a wonderful trade. Let's bring our explorer down so we can maybe snipe this uh, nest. Get us some extra science. And heal up our tech jets because they can't actually reach down there. So perhaps next turn. Oh, he's attacking the marine. Our tech jet's gonna. Oh, if not the marine wiping him out. Biochemistry we picked up biochem. This world is like a good contract. It looks straightforward, but there are some real devils in the details. And we finished our mine up here. There is fruit, though. Oh, I have to improve it. It's fruit. I mean, what more can you say? Let's get a bio well going. These are just eight-turn bio wells. I just love playing as the PAC sometimes. 60 science, 25 energy. We are ending in miasma, but that's okay. And we've wiped out the aliens on that side. Well done. Congratulating myself. Yay! Keep on bombing with our attack jets for as long as we can. Using missiles, honestly, on aliens just doesn't sound fair. And we could pick up a petrochemical plant. We could start building more, uh, what do you call them, workers, maybe more trade convoys. Do we have... I mean, we only have one trade out coming out of Kuyan and Init Tin right now. And they're just one turn in Tiangong. So I'm thinking that's a smart idea, or we go petrochemical plant. That's going to help the production of energy pretty much everywhere. Um, I'm going to go with the trade convoy right now. Just two of those. Help out our glorious empire. We'll have another trade depot up in Ganzerig shortly. Another one at Huanle thereafter. And Gongren is now officially a city. So let's pick up our trade depot. Now we can start really bombarding these aliens up north. Okay, so we did get biochemistry. I want to get alien life forms for the reason I laid out earlier. Um, it's basically just a useful thing in addition to some supremacy points, whereas autonomous systems and power systems are just going to give us supremacy points right now. So alien life forms sounds like a very good option. That's because I want to get my culture rolling. Venga. Sure, I mean, aren't you still supremely weak? Oh, he's above the Slavic feds now. Wonder what happened. Hmm, maybe he took a city or something. Let's just keep on bombarding. We got a quest. Okay, so focusing on life extension is really what I go with with Pharma Labs. I want to get that extra health. It is critical. We're still two health short in Tiangong. Two in Ninit Tin. And just like, looks like one in Kuyan. Well, our time is up for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching part five of my Civilization Beyond Earth Let's Play. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Take care.